I'm practicing. Yeah. Haven't you heard of practice? Let it go and let's go do this. All right. Freaking mom over here. <sighs> Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner. Hot on Vectus, lever action. The Vectus was announced at SHOT Show 2019 in January, and they had these on shelves basically right towards the end of January, early February, so it's awesome to see a company announcing a gun and quickly getting it onto shelves and into users' hands, which is fantastic. Uh, there's a lot going on here with the Vectus, obviously the lever action being the most notable part. It's available in 177, 22, and 25. Now let's check out some of the close-up specs. So one thing you guys will all obviously notice about the Vectus is that there is a lot of polymer on this gun, and that includes a fully polymer shroud. Now at the end here, you kind of an air stripping device. Under there, I believe, what they say at least, is that there is a QE system set up under this shroud piece. So uh, we'll see how that does in the noise department. I'm not sure having these over here, you know, kind of directing that air off to the sides. That may impact our noise output a little bit, may make things a little bit louder, uh, but we'll see. We'll get it out there and test it for you guys, of course. Now, on top of this polymer frame rail here is an entire Picatinny 11 millimeter dovetail setup and it actually comes with a set of open sights that fit in there quite nicely and they're pretty low profile flip ups so if you do want to leave them on the gun and mount your scope it's not a huge deal to do so they are fiber optic of course and I'm not a fan of fiber optic so I just chose to take them off and of course for accuracy testing we're going to mount a scope on it anyway to see how it does now internally, the Vectus is patterned after the Hotson Flash, which we saw last year, uh, which did very well in our review. So a lot of this stuff's gonna be similar between the two. Uh, when we talk about filling the gun, it's a 200 bar fill pressure. It does include a fill probe, and you will notice that the probe is threaded on one end, so that's eighth inch BSPP. You're gonna need that little uh, male quick disconnect fitting to go ahead and adapt this to most hose setup, so keep that in mind. But when we're talking about filling the gun, one thing that I griped about with the flash is that there was no cover or uh, dust port insert and they have actually added that here and I believe they've added it for the flash as well so that's great to see, I love that. Uh, but you go ahead, you insert your fill probe, air it up to 200 bar and you're good to go. Now underneath the rail on the bottom of the forestock here, you will notice a small Picatinny section. We mounted a bipod just to show it here, uh, but you could certainly mount, you know, bipod, laser, light, whatever the heck your heart desires there. And moving on back into the trigger and lever action assembly here, this is the Quattro trigger, so it is fully adjustable. Uh, out of the box, it's got a nice first stage, second stage definition, but definitely on the heavier side than I would prefer it. Uh, but we're going to test it as is for you guys like we do with everything. And you have a manual safety just above it, which is really nicely placed for the right-handed shooter out there for you lefties I'm sorry it's not going to be that friendly for you uh, but very easy to just actuate with that finger now talking about this lever action guys I was really skeptical of this when I found out about this gun purely because my experience with lever action PCPs really is just the Sumatra at this point and that gun is very hard to you know rack with just your hand I kind of have to hold it like this to go ahead and operate it kind of like you do with a Daisy Red Rider um, this is super easy. I was astonished on the SHOT Show floor when they showed me how to do this and then I did it myself. It's super easy and it's a very short throw as well. It's only about 45 degrees, so cocking this thing is that. That's it. It's super easy. You can do it with the back of your hand without hurting yourself. There's almost no strain on it whatsoever. Uh, and getting those quick follow-up shots is going to be a breeze. If you have the gun in the shoulder, I mean, this is just, that's it. That's it. And you got another round in the chamber. So assuming you don't have any issues with your magazine, this is maybe the fastest non-semi-auto follow-up shot uh, in terms of, you know, getting those rounds downrange quickly uh, gun that I've seen to date. So that is really awesome. I like this feature a ton. One of the other features of the Vectus I wanted to highlight for you guys was decocking the gun. On lever action guns, it's typically very difficult to do. Uh, but with the Vectus, it's pretty simple. Uh, they've actually added this in here, it looks like. So basically, you have this tab on the inside of the trigger guard there that you can depress. And if you depress it and then pull the trigger at the same time, you'll hear it click. And you just get your hand out of the way and let that lever lock back in. And now you're decocked and good to go. So if you ever do need to do that, just keep in mind because it's not detailed in the manual. 
Now moving up to the breech, of course, uh, it is the same 11 millimeter kind of weaver combo rail that we normally see out of the Hatsan guns. Uh, you do have two 12-round magazines here in 22 caliber that come with the gun. Uh, they have worked reliably for us so far through our pre-testing. No problems with these. I know there were some initial problems with the flash magazines, which these are basically the same mag. So uh, these have held up just fine for us. The gun does also come with a single-shot tray as well, which is a nice little touch, although I don't think you're going to be using it too much with that nice follow-up shot capability there. One thing to keep in mind, you are definitely going to need high mounts because you can see... When you throw that magazine into the breech there, you kind of have to be mindful, just looking at it here, of where that goes in because obviously you have a very little amount of clearance space between most rings. So you're definitely going to need high rings. And if you are using a 30 millimeter tube scope, you may have to play with the positioning of the saddle here uh, to make sure that you're not interfering with the magazine. Overall, you know, the thumb hole stock feels pretty good in the hand. It's not terribly heavy as well, and you got a rubber butt pad at the back as well as this raised cheek piece here. Um, the gun comes into the shoulder pretty nicely, and again, the weight's not too bad at all. Uh, it's going to make this a nice field gun for you. Uh, the stock is, you know, kind of a nice rugged polymer, although it doesn't look the greatest in my opinion. And uh, to be honest, there is a ton of polymer on this gun, which typically something I'm not a huge fan of. But if the gun performs well, I don't know if it matters. So let's head out to the range and see how it does. So seeing that the Vectis is basically the same action overall as the Flash was, uh, we knew the gun was going to be accurate out to 45 yards, and we also knew that it wasn't going to get a whole lot of shots per fill. So we elected to do five shot groupings here out at that 45 yard distance, uh, and the results were pretty solid. With the JSB 15.89s, you have a 0.71 inch five shot group there. At that 45 yard distance, very solid, you know, under three quarters of an inch is great for a gun in this price point. Uh, and the JSB 18s did the same thing as well, again, like 0.7172. So uh, really nice five shot groupings there. We also tested the new JSB Hades pellets. Uh, this is some early samples that we have here and just over an inch for five shots. Uh, definitely going to be an interesting hunting round for you guys, but maybe not the most accurate out of the Vectis here. Overall, our Vectis definitely prefers the JSB pellets to everything else we tested. So grab yourself some of those and you're going to be in good shape. Since we saw the same accuracy from the JSB jumbos and the jumbo heavies, we went ahead and chronographed both. They're putting out about 30 foot-pounds and 28 foot-pounds respectively. The one thing you'll notice though is that there's a very large extreme spread with a very steep downward curve. So what you're seeing is this gun's basically power tuned, meaning you're gonna get your best velocity, your best energy right off the top of the fill at 200 bar. Now the downside of that is that you're only getting about eight to 10 good shots before we're getting outside of a you know, 20 or 30 foot per second velocity range that is gonna influence our point of impact downrange. So while we did two magazines worth of shots, I would say you're looking at about 15 usable shots on a stock setting with the Vectis. Before we get into our wrap up, as always, don't forget to like this video, give us some lever action love for the Vectis, comment down below, tell us what you thought of the gun, what you'd like to see us review next, and don't forget to subscribe. Starting with the positives for this 22 caliber Hatsan Vectis, obviously it's got good accuracy out to 45 yards. You have great power out of it, and that quick shot ability with this lever action system is, in my opinion, right now, second to none. Uh, this is absolutely fantastic, and I hope they can integrate this on more of their guns. Now, my gripes with this gun, there are a few of them. Uh, I am not a fan of this much polymer, uh, especially where I'm mounting my scope rings, because usually your scope rings are metal. Mounting that into a polymer section, uh, typically not the best idea, but we didn't have any drift issues. I didn't see any POI change, so I can't really, it's a, you know, it's a personal gripe for me. Now the gun is loud, that's fact, all right? So know that going in if you are looking at purchasing this gun uh, and you're not gonna get a whole lot of shots out of it. Good power, but low shot count. I would love to see them kind of tune somewhere 
in the middle of that and give you more shots with a decent amount of power. That's just me. Or to be quite honest with you guys, if they could integrate that lever action system onto something with a wood stock, with a bottle on it or larger air capacity, I'm gonna be all for that product as long as they make it quiet. Uh, but for the price point this is in guys, the Vectus is certainly a solid contender from a performance perspective and one you need to have your eye on if you like a quick follow-up shot capability. So check out the Vectus on pyramidair.com. For the Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. We'll see you guys at the next one.